Autodesk helps customers design better products by enabling them to create digital models and digital workflows that can be used to experience ideas before they're real and improve the way products look, perform, and are used in the real world. How can we help create designs that are cost-effective, safe, and reliable while increasing bottom line and shortening time to market? How are design engineers facing real-world decisions and challenges with Autodesk simulation tools? Let's see how we can apply Autodesk simulation to a few theoretical design scenarios and discover why simulation is an invaluable asset to have during the design process. Plastic components provide a unique design challenge, as there are literally infinite variations of thicknesses and geometric reinforcements. The challenge here requires us to redesign this plastic housing. I need it to last 10,000 cycles of a repeated application of a 100 pound reaction load. And notice that I have a maximum displacement criteria of 60 thousandths of an inch. Here are four unique design options. The original design is in the top left. These design options have different wall thicknesses and different configurations of structural reinforcement. Which one fixes the design while requiring the least increase in plastic volume? The most differentiating strategies employed by best-in-class take cost out of their products because they evaluate design alternatives to arrive at the most cost-effective, best-performing design. Using inventor simulation, we can apply a static force and measure the displacement of the housings. We can also measure the volume of the part and use that to estimate the increase in material cost. Now, just having a simulation tool will not necessarily improve your process or your design. You must use it regularly throughout the design process from concept through design and leverage it to support critical design decisions, such as the ones I'm making here. We're using our tool up front to make sure we go down the best design path. Out of these four geometry options, which has the best fatigue life? To evaluate that, we have to use Algor simulation. SE stands for strain life fatigue, and this is an appropriate analysis type for plastic components, stresses near or above yield, or low cycle fatigue failure, where we're looking at 10 to 100,000 cycles till failure. Evaluating each of the designs for fatigue life reveals that they vary considerably with how long they will last. While all three design options here pass the linear static displacement test, design four on the bottom right does not pass the criteria for sustaining 10,000 cycles till failure. Now on the other hand, design two on the upper right, where I just doubled the wall thickness, has an infinite life, which is over-designed given our performance specifications. In order to successfully take cost out of products, engineers must be able to understand the trade-offs for performance and quality, and this is a perfect example. The optimum design here is somewhere between designs three and four on the bottom. Let's continue to iterate the design further. Compromising between design options three and four, we can come up with a design that has a slight increase in wall thickness and a few added structural reinforcements. The predicted performance of the part meets our requirements with an increase in plastic volume of just 26%. Now compare that with the option of simply doubling the wall thickness, which was 76% increase in plastic material. I'm making intelligent choices up front to make the best designs. To complete the design evaluation, the manufacturability must be assessed. Adding this additional plastic and structural geometry is going to result in drastic retooling for my part. I want to look at sink marks and warpage in my part using mold flow. Sink marks are voids that are caused by localized shrinkage of the material at thick sections, such as where I have material that's opposite of a rib. These can usually be alleviated by fine-tuning some combination of the part or the mold design. And again, these iterations are going to be done virtually before we cut any metal for our mold. My sink marks are approximately 2 thousandths of an inch, which are quite small. Based on our surface finish and color, we probably won't see any cosmetic effects. However, if we want to, we can pass this result from mold flow over to Autodesk Showcase to visualize further 
and complete the simulation. The warpage after ejecting the part from the mold is also very negligible at four thousandths of an inch. Warpage is caused by temperature and pressure variations or variations in wall thickness. I've used mold flow simulation to virtually optimize the part mold design, cooling and filling conditions to achieve a low and uniform deformation. Mold flow provides tools to help validate and optimize the part mold and tool design before manufacturing begins. The biggest driver to improve the design process is reducing cost. Remember that much of the final cost of a product is determined by the decisions engineering makes during the design phase. 73% of best-in-class manufacturers use digital prototypes in their design process to predict product performance. Analyzing the product behavior earlier with simulation is how you know you're making the best decisions, way before you need to build physical prototypes. Building and testing too many physical prototypes can adversely impact time to market and cost. A recent Aberdeen report found that the industry average is 6.9 prototypes per design. So think about this. How many prototypes do you build? When in the design process are the prototypes constructed and tested? And how much can you change the design based on the results of those prototypes? These examples show taking results from simulation to make good designs. Simulation provides predicted performance upfront in the design process, allowing us to make informed choices for materials and geometry. Armed with this information, we expect designers to be able to save money, ensure safety, and meet product quality specifications. You can augment your design process and realize true ROI on these tools.